About a month ago, I did a video on the use cases and limitations of Webflow memberships now that it's in official public beta. And then just to spite me, Webflow released an update to memberships just a couple of weeks later that makes some of what I said now kind of redundant. And it's around the limitations. Controlling element visibility based on member login status sounds boring, but it's actually pretty helpful. And it's made it so that creating membership sites in Webflow is now just that little bit more powerful than it used to be. And therefore will also cover more membership use cases. So when I said limitation number one is not being able to hide content on a page rather than the whole page itself. Well, now that's not a limitation. So today we're gonna to quickly look at how we can control the visibility of elements based on whether a member is logged in or not. And we'll be covering how we can use it on our navigation, on our access denied page, across the site, and also the impact made by the Bauhaus movement in relation to altering the common approach to the relationship between art, society, and technology through the use of all right, so let's start with our membership nav by adding an account or profile button that only makes sense to see if we're logged in. So I'm gonna to go to my nav symbol, edit that, and I'll drop in a link block for our account page over to the user account. And I'll also drop in an image and that can be just a little icon. Let me very quickly style this. So that button looks fine. And now what we wanna do is make sure that only users who are logged in can see this button because if we're not logged in, it doesn't make much sense to have it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my visibility of this item. I'm gonna hit the plus and the element is only visible when a user is logged in. And now if I hit preview, it's still gonna look the same. That's fine. If I then publish it, and so since I'm not logged in, I'm not gonna see that button. And so that's an example on a navigation and now we'll do the same for the access denied page. So let's move over to our denied page. And right now I just have a generic message for whether a user is logged out or if they're logged in or if they do or don't have a membership. And so I'm gonna separate it. I'm gonna make two. One's gonna be visible to those who aren't logged in and the other one's gonna be visible to those who are logged in. And so let me just copy and paste this and I'll do the conditioning first and then I'll change the text. So this is gonna be uh, logged out. And here we have logged in. And so if they're logged out, we can just say, you're not logged in. And so to access this video, yada, 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 let's say sign up or log in. And then this can go to our sign up page. And so the bottom one are gonna be for those who are logged in but don't have a membership. So we'll say this content is locked. And so to unlock it, get a membership and we'll just say, see membership options. And that's currently going to our membership page. And so all we're doing is slightly changing our messaging and when a user sees that messaging for when a user is navigating our website. And on that note, we'll also do it on maybe the library page and at the very bottom, I have a call to action. And so what I'll do is I'll double up this call to action. And the first one can be sign up. And the second one is see memberships. And so again, this one is if a user is not logged in, they're logged out. And the second one is if a user is logged in and we can save that. And so in this way, we can keep going through and changing parts of our website to be more appropriate based on whether a user is logged in or logged out. Now, the last thing that I wanna point out is now that we can control content based on login status, the next thing that would be great to do is to toggle content based on if someone is a subscribed member or not. And so for example, our join now button would not be removed if a user is logged in, but only if a user is subscribed. And that's something that we're not currently able to do. So at the top of my wish list for Webflow memberships is exactly that, being able to control based on member access group. So let's hope in a couple of weeks time, this part of the video is also redundant. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.